Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandeep. Today we'll see one important interview question. What is constructor overloading? What is constructor overloading? So, like methods, we can overload constructors too, but we cannot override constructors because constructors cannot be inherited in Java. I repeat once again, constructors can be overloaded same as methods, but cannot constructors cannot be inherited because Constructor cannot be overridden because constructions cannot be inherited. So, what is constructor overloading? So, defining multiple constructors with different parameters in the same class is called constructor overloading. Defining multiple constructors within the same class with different arguments or parameters, then we call it as a constructor overloading. Okay. Next, why should we overload constructors? So, what advantage or benefit we if we get if we overload constructors? So, to define different object initialization logic, we overload constructors. To define different object initialization logic, we overload constructors. And to execute the same initialization logic by taking different input type values. So, if you want to perform different object initialization logic, we define multiple constructors. And to execute the same initialization logic with multiple parameters or by taking different type input values, we overload constructors. Let's see an example. So let's write an example on constructor chaining. New class constructor chaining demo. Or just it's better if I define only demo or because every time I have to write the complete name so just rename it to demo so define three class constructors public demo this is a no argument constructor system dot out dot print ln I am in no argument constructor as we don't have any arguments for this constructor we call it as a no argument constructor next public demo int i system dot out dot print ln integer argument constructor okay integer argument constructor i equals to in next take one more constructor string okay String argument constructor str str. If you see, we call this as an constructor overloading. Okay, here we have integer argument, here we don't have any argument, here we have string argument. Okay, this is one of the main advantage. That means we can pass different values to the constructors. If we have multiple constructors within the same class. Okay. Now I am creating demo demo equals to new demo. Okay. Again demo demo 1 equals to new demo of 10. demo demo 2 equals to hi that means we can pass different uh, values for different constructors by using this when we by using this constructor overloading let's run the program and see the output
so i am a no argument constructor interior argument i equal to 10 string argument constructor i equals to h1 okay this is the one of the advantage and what is the one more benefit we can do different initialization logic okay so i'll take one more class to explain the different initialization logic advantage i'll name this class as test main okay int int i okay now what i'll do i'll perform i'll initialize the value of i in the constructors so public test i equal to 10 okay system dot out dot print alarm i value equals to and this is one of the advantage that means we can give the different object initialization logic here int i system dot or dot print ln i value equal i value in integer constructor equals to plus i now what i am doing i am creating a i am initializing an object Now run the program and see the output. I value equal to 10. Now if I want to pass a different value, I can do with the help of second constructor. See whatever the value I pass from here, by using this constructor I can take that value. But with the help of first constructor, I am always initializing it to default value 10. That means whenever the object gets created with this default constructor, value will be 10. So here the object on initialization logic is different. Here the object initialization logic is different. Right. So hope you guys understand this video. So what is constructor overloading and what are the advantages? Thanks for watching my video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my videos.